Hello everyone, this is Chen Wei Wang. Today I will present primary health system development in China from the 1940s to the present. Lack of medical resource is the main issue in China during the 1940s, only representing an average of 0.05 beds per 1000 residents and the density of health professionals is merely 0.093%. Without adequate medical resource, developed primary care is an inexpensive way to increase people's life expectancy. In the 1940s, to reduce the prevalence of infectious disease, the Chinese Communist Party emphasized preventive care in the area they controlled and helped the local populations to improve their living conditions. These health promotion activities provide a learning opportunity for ordinary people to engage in conversations about new concepts of hygiene and sanitation, infectious disease control, and the importance of preventive care. When the CCP came to power in 1949, implementing primary care was considered an appropriate solution for the government to improve national health care. The CCP established a primary health care system that adapted from the Soviet Union, providing nearly free health care services for the population, and the government owned and ran all health care facilities and employed all health care workforce. The Belt Daughter program was then the mark accomplishment through the 1960s and the 1970s. Belt Daughter had a basic medical training, formed the system's primary care base. The practice both Western and Chinese medicine provide basic public and personal health services and conduct public health surveillance at the bottom level of healthcare system. This community-based health worker was the first point to the rural population and they referred serious cases that they were unable to treat to higher level health facilities. The success use of community-based health workers strengthened accessibility, affordability, and the effectiveness of health care in rural China. Community health conditions were significantly improved. Primary health care development in China was marked by market-based reforms in the health care sector in the 1980s, which substantially affect and eliminate the primary health care system in rural areas of the country. Led by Communist Party leader Deng Xiaoping, China converted to a market economy, which resulted in the weakening of the collective economics and thus to the collapse of the Belt Daughters program. As the government reduced its investment in primary care was a serious inadequate, which compared primary care providers and primary care facilities to it as for-profit entities. The government also allowed these primary care providers to charge a 15% markup on drugs to compensate their incomes. Such conditions drive up causes of primary care, reduce health care access, and cause poor quality care. Finally, China shifted primary care focus to specialty medical care. The imbalance in the roles of the government and the market in China's healthcare sector result in unintentional consequence, like an escalation in medical spending, diminished access to care, widening inequity, lower efficiency, and a worsening relationship between patients and the doctors. After 2009, China launched nationwide systematic um, healthcare reform in 2009. The reform committed to transforming China's underperforming and hospital-centric system into one that delivers primary care to meet patients' basic health care needs. The government increased its subsidies to prim primary care institutions from 2.8 billion in 2008 to 20.3 billion in 2015. By 2014, the government established around 500,000 primary care facilities and employed around 1 million village doctors and health workers to deliver primary care in rural clinics. The government also launched Healthy China 2030 plan. The plan built a strong foundation for prevention, promotion, and health management. The development in in of primary care in China has a notable history. It was prevalent before the early 1980s, marginalized from the 1980s to early 2000s, and re-emphasized by the government after 2009.